Hi, my name is Amy Hara, and I'm a radiologist at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. There's a lot of concern about CT radiation dose in the public, and many papers have come out and a, a big articles in the New York Times about concerns about CT radiation dose. And so there's been efforts ac across the nation, particularly at Mayo Clinic in Arizona, about reducing the dose for CT as much as possible for these patients. Patients with malignancies or with um, abdominal pain or headaches, they're going to have to get a CT scan, but what we want to do is do it at the lowest dose possible for those patients. Patients are becoming more and more informed uh, about their care and what type of care they're getting, any risks of the care that they're getting. The internet has opened that up for everybody and I think that's fantastic. So patients are coming in with a lot more questions. They read the stories, they want to know uh, what you're doing to save radiation dose. They maybe don't want to have the CT and they want to get a different type of exam like an MR that doesn't have any radiation dose. So those are the kind of the questions that we're getting. And folks that have long-term disease where they get lots of imaging want to know if the uh, more and more of these scans uh, adds up to increased risk for those patients. So we get a lot of questions and concerns from patients and that's why we're being very proactive in trying to reduce the dose as much as possible so they can be reassured if they do need a scan that it's done at the lowest dose possible. The radiation dose risks are very controversial. So you'll have two different camps and one camp will say that any uh, radiation exposure increases your risk of developing cancer and there'll be another camp equally, equally um, uh, um, loud that will say that radiation exposure, there's been no studies that has shown that it increases risk. Uh, other than in children, we have to be very careful in patients and children and people where their cells are rapidly dividing because radiation can affect them. So we're very careful, particularly in children. But once you're over about the age of, you know, 30, um, that's where it becomes very cloudy about the risk of radiation dose. So one thing that we tell patients is that walking around in Arizona every year, you get about three millisieverts, and that's a radiation dose measurement, just from walking around from different exposures in the air. Um, a CT scan of the abdomen, by comparison, can be anywhere from two millisieverts to 10 millisieverts to higher, depending on what type of scan that you have. So sometimes, depending on the scan, for a head CT, we'll say it's less than just living in Arizona for a year. So there are other areas, like in Denver, where if you live in Denver, your dose in a year is 10 millisieverts. And we know that those patients get that exposure, or those folks that live there get that exposure, but there's no increased risk of cancer. And we've been reducing dose since about 2008. And so from 2008 levels, we've come down 30 to 50%, uh, depending on what type of scan that you are having since that time. And with the newer software and hardware that's coming out from the manufacturers, we're able to reduce the dose by another 30 to 40% compared to those levels. So it continues to come further and further down. We have recently completed a study of about 120 patients using a new technology called VEO. And um, it allows us to reduce the dose by anywhere from 50 to 70 percent from the already low doses that we were doing previously. So we've completed those studies and what we found is that even at those very low doses, uh, because of the improvements and all the processing, et cetera, we we're getting similar image quality or similar diagnostic information that we need without the added radiation dose. And we were able to offer that to our patients today. So every um, different type of imaging test has its advantages and disadvantages, either in terms of cost or how long it takes or the image quality, but there are some that are equivalent. So if you take a patient with Crohn's disease, if you can get an MR scan that doesn't have any radiation versus a CT scan that does have radiation, both of those will usually give you similar information. So some patients will opt to have the exam without radiation, which would be the MR, but it's more expensive than a CT. So you always have this, you know, kind of checks and balances with each of these different types of exams. But there are some that are equivalent, and we try to um, uh, modify our uh, way that we work so that patients will have access to those types of exams with the least risk possible. Well, I would say to start talking with their physician about their concerns with radiation dose, I had them ask first, you know, do I definitely need to have this examination? Is there um, another way we could follow this without getting that examination that might save radiation dose? If you do need that exam, is there an imaging test that doesn't use radiation dose? And do I need to worry about radiation dose? Because at you know, 70 years, 80 years of age, cancers that they think are caused by radiation take 20 years to develop. It's very slow. It may hit one cell and take long and long and long. So really at 70, 75, 80, 85, that should not be the top concern um, of radiation dose. So you have to know who you are, what is your 
a personal risk and are there other options?